Hey everyone, so I wanted to do an update. It's been probably three to four weeks since I fertilized and now they're starting to put on some decent growth. So I'm gonna fertilize again. Um, as you can see over here, I got a bunch of weeds in this bed. Um, the other beds don't look too bad. So normally what you do with the fertilizer that I have, um, I'll show you what I'm gonna use. This is a tomato and vegetable garden plant food. It's actually a, a 10 or 12, 10, five. So that should help put on some growth. So normally what you do is you sprinkle that on there and then you scratch it into the soil. So since I have to weed a little bit, what I'm gonna do is end up scratching the soil first, then I'm gonna put that in. So I'll give you a quick, show you what I'm gonna do. So that brings up all of the roots of all the little weeds. It just loosens them up nice so you can pull them out real easy. And you want to try to be gentle and get the roots. All right, we'll give you a quick look. Well, let me uh, let me throw my fertilizer in this one. Show you how I'm gonna do that. So you gotta weigh this stuff out really carefully when you put it in there. So you wanna look at how big that bed is, look at that bag, then grab yourself a handful. Shake it around. Now I have beans in the back. I remember hearing somebody say you don't fertilize beans. Um, so I'm just concentrating up front of the bed halfway to the front, but uh, I'm sure they're gonna get some fertilizer through the washing, wash out of the water, but there's not much I can do for that. So that's pretty much all we do. Okay, so here we go. I'll just uh, show you what's going on. So beans, gray, zucchini. Darn. I think those are the lemon cucumbers, eggplant. I'm, gonna, I'm calling it the Dan Permaculture squash. He just told me what it is, and I don't know why I keep blanking out on that. But they're growing very good. Cucamelon. Dasher 2, my Shed War Secret Seed, a couple peppers, another gray zucchini, got four tomatoes, and then I have my pickling cucumbers, which are starting to grow. That one, everything got bitten off but one little tiny leaf, so it is still growing, so that's good. 
I'm going to nickname that Broke Owl because I said I should get one that Broke Farmer has. So uh, I don't have one with the little head that moves, but I dug that out of the shed because I was pretty sure we had one. I put them in here, and I haven't seen anything come in ever since I put it in there. So hopefully that's going to do the job. I'm also going to go ahead and fertilize all of my buckets. I can't tell you. Oh, well, yeah, I, I could tell you. Ancient sword pepper. Lipstick pepper. This is the shishito pepper. It's just, this thing, I'm telling you, it's putting on tons of peppers. Uh, I got some weeds in my buckets here, too. I've been pulling those out. Um, let's see. Corbasi sweet. This is one of my tomatoes that has the, the leaf curl. This one is not recovering. This one is doing pretty bad. I'm sure that's going to affect production. This one is probably going to come out. I'm actually going to move him away. This was another one that had the leaf curl, but as you can see, most of the new growth, it has a little tiny bit of leaf curl, but not too bad. So I'm thinking this guy's going to be okay. Got my potatoes. That one had leaf curl as well. I didn't do anything to fix it. Um, other than make sure I watch the water watering, but uh, that's it. Uh, let's see over here. Dill. I planted a dill. That's a cauliflower. I have no idea if that's going to do anything. Um, I have my, I think I said purple bumblebee in the last video. These are pink bumblebee. Um, cherry tomatoes right there. Pink bumblebee. My uh, garlic is doing good. Most of them have scapes on them. I'm going to have to cut them off pretty soon and then let them bulb up. We'll come take a quick look at these ones over here. So these ones are doing pretty good. Um, this one has the leaf curl. This one's not really doing that great either. Um, but the other one that had the leaf curl seems to be doing much better. Everything seems to be doing well. So I might have to get rid of this guy too, and it's a shame it's starting to put out flowers. And I don't know if I have another one of these. This is my purple Russian. And I really need some purple Russian tomatoes. So I'm hoping I might, I have to look around, see if I have another purple Russian somewhere that I could pull off a, a sucker. But overall, these are doing good. I have to keep stemming them, or not stemming them. They need to be pruned. Um, I mean, you can see how big these suckers are on this one. They're still small on this one, not too bad, but I keep, uh, I have to prune them up off the bottom and then I keep clipping them to the string so they'll grow. Um, peppers down here, you can see there's a lot of weeds in this bed, which I got to do. Uh, it's going to be for another day, but my purple gusto, it died. Something that came through and broke that stem and it didn't make it. But uh, that guy back there is putting on some peppers. That is, that's a sweet twister. It's pretty tiny, but uh, I'm going to fertilize this bed and the tomato bed as well today so I can get it all done. And then, uh, then I'm going to weed this bed and the other bed. I actually have the automatic waterer for my soaker hoses. It's called a beehive. I'll, I'll show you on a video um, about that one. But it's smart enough to know the weather. But it said that it was supposed to rain yesterday and it did not. So the beds are dried out. Now I can actually use my phone and make it water. Um, but I didn't really think about it. So what I'm going to do now, since I'm going to fertilize, is I'm actually going to overhead water and uh, go with that. So it actually puts it down in the soil a little bit. And then I'll let my hose take over again in another couple days. Um, potatoes are doing pretty good. The two on the end dried out a little bit because it didn't rain. So I just gave them all a good heavy dose of water. But uh, the big pots are still doing pretty well. And then that one pepper, or pepper, one potato over here is doing pretty good too. So overall, not too bad. All right, that was it. Just wanted to show you my quick fertilizer tip. Again, I use something with a, a higher first two numbers um, that will promote growth. And the, the last number is for the, the flower fruiting when it starts to put on a lot of fruit. So I'll be using a different fertilizer probably in another 30 days. 
I do have some fish fertilizer as well. I'll probably add that in another couple weeks too. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you what I got going on. All right, that's it for now. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, and until next time, grow something. See ya.